magandang araw po. Para sa mga estudyante nating kababaihan, ano ang tipo mong lalaki? Ayan, kapag nakikita mo si Enrique Hilo, si Daniel Padilla o si James Reed, ito ba yung mga taong attracted ka? Or baka naman ayon dun sa iyong panlasa, ikaw ay isang BTS Army at ang gusto mong makatuluyan ay silang pito. O kaya naman, maaring ito ang tipo mong lalaki. Of course, ito po si Pepe ang dakilang Hokage. Magandang hapon po. Magandang araw sa ating lahat. Good day everyone. This is Sir E and this is SS041. Rizal and his lives and his works. Today po ang atin pong pag-aaralan ay patungkol kay Jose Rizal, the lover. Sa wikang Tagalog at ito po ang aking translasyon sa ating lingwahe sa kasalukuyan, ito po ang ating pag-aaral patungkol kay Pepe, ang dakilang Hokage. Again, magandang hapon po. This is SS041, The Life and Works of Jose Rizal. Again, ang ating pong topic ay Rizal the Lover, si Pepe, ang dakilang Hokage. Ako po si Sir E, ang inyong dakilang instructor. Hindi naman dakilang instructor. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Si Rizal nga ba ay isang Hokage? Or hindi ba siya isang Hokage? Ito po ay susubukan nating sagutin sa ating pong pag-aaral ngayong hapon. Now, according to one historian, Rizal had flirted and could have had amorous relations with no less than 18 women, 10 of which were foreigners and 8 were Filipinos. Napaka pinagpala ni Rizal na sampung banyaga okay, ang nahumaling sa kanya. Paano nahumaling? Tingnan ho natin maya-maya sa ating pag-aaral. So these are the women na aaralin natin na nagada upang palad and Rizal had romantic relations with. Now you have here, segunda katigbak, Leonor Valenzuela, Leonor Rivera, Consuelo Ortiga, Jose San, Gertrude Beckett, Nellie Boston, Suzanne Jacoby, and of course, we have Josephine Bracken. Ang sinasabing unang naging crush daw talaga ni Dr. Serizal ay si Julia. Hindi po si Julia Barreto kung hindi si Julia ng Dampalit mula po sa Milos Baños, Laguna. Subalit sa ating pag-aaral sa ngayon, ang una ho natin, Ting aaralin ay of course si Segunda Katigbak na itinuturing na first love and first heartbreak ni Dr. Rosarizal. Sa mga unang napag-aralan natin, we found out that the first heartbreak of Dr. Rosarizal was the death of his sister Concha. But when it comes to romantic relationships, his first heartbreak was supposed to be because of Segunda Katigbak. Ito po ang itinuturing na first love ni Dr. Rosarizal. This was when Pepe was only 16 years old and Segunda was 14 years old. Now, sino po ba ang kasunod nito? Of course, you have Leonor Valenzuela. Ito naman yung itinuturing na secret love ni Pepe. Bakit nga ba lihim na pag-ibig na itinuring si Leonor Valenzuela sa buhay ni Pepe. Now, we know of Leonor Valenzuela as a tall girl from Pagsanhan, Laguna, who was fondly, fondly called as Orang, si Orang Valenzuela po. Now, she was Rizal's neighbor when he boarded in the house of Doña Concha Leyva in Intramuros during his sophomore year at the University of Santo Tomas as a medicine student. Now, Rizal sent her love notes written in invisible ink, I'm not sure if this is still happening until now, made of common table salt and water, which could be read by heating the note over a candle or lamp. Pepe visited Orang on the eve of his departure to Spain and bade her a last goodbye. Pero bakit dinais ni Pepe na maging secret relationship ang sa kanilang dalawa? Bakit nga ba, Pepe? Dahil po, Si Leonor Valenzuela habang siya ay sinusuyo ni Jose Rizal, si Jose Rizal po ay kasalukuyang boyfriend ni Leonor Rivera Pepe. Bakit ka nga ba isang dakilang hokage? Many references declare that Orang was Rizal's object of affection too while he was courting the other Leonor who was Leonor Rivera. Yun po yung ating natuklasan at natuklasan ng ating mga historians din naman. When Rizal left for Spain, he received a letter from his friend and confidant Chengoy, Jose Cecilio, saying that na na ng dalawang Leonor ang kanilang common denominator na hindi lamang po parehong Leonor ang kanilang pangalan, subalit parehong lalaki ang kanilang sinisinta. 
Pepe, bakit ka naman ganyan? Nagkabistuhan na sila. Parang ang ilupit ni Jose Rizal dito, ano? para hindi siya mada- mapag- ma- malito talagang dalawang Leonor mismo yung kanyang pinagsabay. Well, I'm not sure if we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt, but that was him as uh, as a lover, okay? At least according to historians, okay? Pinagsabay niya po, okay? Naibigin si na Leonor Rivera at si Leonor Valenzuela. And so, of course, Orang didn't feel much sorrow upon Rizal's departure. She was said to have accepted other suitors and attended social parties and ended up marrying an employee of a trade house. And so we have here now Leonor Rivera. Ito naman po yung itinuturing na one true love ni Dr. Jose Rizal. Now, si Leonor Rivera po was a native of Camiling Tarlac. Ang nickname niya ay si Taimis. And Rivera's family resided in the Gupan from 1890 to 1891 when the railroad line between Manila and the Gupan was being constructed. Kung hindi po natin alam, silang dalawa po ni Jose Rizal ay mag-second cousin dahil ang kanilang mga tatay were first cousins. Paano ho ba sila nagkatagpo at nagkita? They were both studying in Manila at that time and Rizal was staying in the boarding house owned by Leonor Rivera's father. They were sweethearts for 11 years and this was what kept Rizal from falling in love with other women in Europe. Unfortunately, hindi po gusto ng nanay ni Leonor Rivera si Dr. Jose Rizal because by that time already Rizal was considered as a filibuster o isang filibustero. Leonor had been faithful even though Rizal was studying in Europe. Ang nanay ni Leonor Rivera na si Silvestra Bauson or si Tia Beyang hid from Leonor all the letters sent to her by Dr. Rosa Rizal. That's why Leonor thought that Rizal had already forgotten her, consenting to marry the English engineer Henry Kipping, who was then the head of the Manila Dagupan Railroad Project. Pumayag naman po itong si Leonor Rivera na siya po ay uh, magpakasal na kay Henry Kipping. Subalit, meron siyang apat na kondisyon kasi nga ang kanyang ang itinitubok ng kanyang puso ay si Jose Rizal. But in 1890, Leonor got married to Henry Kipping on the following conditions. Una, ang kanyang nanay po ay tatayong kasama niya during the wedding. Pangalawa po, pagkatapos ng kasal, she will never sing again. Next, she will never play piano ever. And lastly, she will wear black all the days of her life. Kung mapapansin ho natin dito, her decision was not a decision na mayroong kasiyahan. Okay? She was perhaps forced knowing that it was the, well, that it was a decision that would make her parents happy. However, this was not a decision that she's happy about because her heart belongs to Dr. Jose Rizal. And if you're going to look at the novel Noli Metang Hire, Siya po ay refleksyon dito ni Maria Clara. Okay? Si Leonor Rivera po died while giving birth to her second son in 1893 habang si Rizal po ay nakakulong sa may dapitan. Now, we also have Consuelo Ortiga, yung tinatawag na crush ng bayan na nagkaroon ng romantic involvement itong si Dr. Jose Rizal. She was the daughter of Don Pablo Ortiga, the former alcalde of Manila, who is now residing in Madrid, Spain. Now, Rizal dedicated to her a la señorita co R, which became one of his best poems. Now, Maximino and Antonio Paterno, Rizal's good friends, are frequent visitors too of uh, Consuelo. Now, Rizal and Consuelo met first when Consuelo attended a party of Filipino compatriots in Madrid. Now, Rizal recited a poem and Consuelo was impressed. They met again in the birthday party of Consuelo's father and since then, Consuelo often asked Rizal for romantic verses. Kung kailan naman si Dr. Rosa Rizal ay uh, he, uh, he agreed with the request. However, Rizal suddenly backed out before the relationship turned serious because una, he wanted to remain loyal to Lino Rivera as if naman. And pangalawa, he did not want to destroy his friendship with Eduardo Deleto who was head over heels in love with Consuelo Ortiga at that 
time. Subalit hindi naging masaya itong si Consuelo Ortiga. In the letters, uh, letter, he wrote that Consuelo Ortiga lost her humor dahil nga nagkasakit siya. Kinasal sila but she was not happy. Um, sabi ni Delete, our marriage did not push through. Okay, hindi pala sila kinasal. Okay, kasi nga nagkasakit na itong si, De- si Consuelo Ortiga. Maaring um, one of the reasons why she became unhappy was because um, Dr. Jose Rizal. Okay, um, kumbaga lumayo na yung loob niya kay Consuelo Ortiga. She saw all her love affairs crumble and her illusions dry up. She was very unfortunate, dying alone, sad and abandoned, a victim of tuberculosis. May she rest in peace. And of course, we have here Osei San na naging tour guide ni Dr. Jose Rizal sa kanyang pagpunta sa May Japan. Okay, Rizal could have married her and they would have lived happily ever after in Japan because Rizal had a lucrative job at that time in the Spanish legation sa Spanish embassy po sa Japan. But Rizal, knowing his purpose, was a man with a mission, a patriotic mission at that Seiko Usui ang kanyang pangalan but she was also known as Osei-san, a Japanese samurai's daughter who was uh, the first love, whose first love was Dr. Jose Rizal. In 1897, a year after Rizal's death, Seiko Usui married Alfred Charlton, a British chemistry teacher of the Pierce School in Tokyo. And of course, we have here Gertrude Beckett, who was considered as the partner in crime of Dr. Jose Rizal. Now, Gertrude Beckett was the daughter of Charles Beckett, who was Rizal's landlord at that time. She was described as a <clears throat> curvy lady who has cheerful blue eyes, brown hair, and rosy cheeks, and of course, thin lips. Sources states that she was the most beautiful among the women of Dr. Jose Rizal. Rizal was in London, annotating the successos de las Islas Filipinas of Antonio de Morga, and Rizal was a boarder in the house of the Beckett family, walking distance lang po ang bahay nila sa my British Museum. Now, Rizal called Gertrude as Getty and she called him Petty. So gave uh, she gave Rizal more than normal assistance. She showered him with all attention and she assisted Rizal in his paintings and his sculptures. Together, they finished the sculptures like the Prometheus Bound, uh, Triumph of Death Over Life, and Triumph of Science Over Death. Rizal enjoyed Gertrude's loving service, but sources suggest that Rizal never reciprocated Gertrude's love. Rizal suddenly left London for Paris to avoid Gertrude, who was seriously in love with him. Minsan napapaisip ako, ano bang merong karisma si Dr. Jose Rizal? At parang itong mga babaeng ito pa ang naghahabol sa kanya. Now, before leaving London, he was able to finish the group carving of the Beckett sisters. He gave the group carving to Gertrude as a sign of their brief relationship. And so again, we have now Nelly Boston, who was considered as wife material. Okay, sa mga naging... Uh, ni Dr. Jose Rizal. Now, Nellie Boston's father was half Filipino, half British, and her mother was a Filipina. Nellie considered herself actually as a Filipino. They lived in Biarritz, France, a resort city like Boracay near the Spanish border. Noon pong nagka, nagka-asawa na, okay, uh, si Leonor Rivera, he already entertained the thought of courting other ladies. Rizal was a guest of Eduardo Boston of the resort city of Biarritz, and he befriended the two daughters of his host. And so Rizal used to fence with the sisters at the studio of Juan Luna. However, Antonio Luna, Juan Luna's brother, also was a frequent visitor of the Bostons. In fact, si Antonio Luna po was interested in courting Nelly. Kaya lang, kaya lang po. Oh my goodness. Itong si Nelly Boston. Head over heels naman kay Dr. Rizal. Jose Rizal, ano ba talagang meron ka? Nasa na ang lahat. Okay. And so, in one party in Spain, a drunken Antonio Luna uttered and savory remarks against Nelly Boston. Hindi po natuwa si Dr. Rizal dito. That's why he demanded that Luna apologize 
for what he said about Nelly, but Luna responded by challenging Rizal to a duel. However, with the help of their friends, the quarrel was fixed and the duel was cancelled. Was Rizal really in love with Nelly? According to Nelly, she felt that he was not. But she was not sure. She was very much uncertain because also she was emotionally reserved. However, when Pepe started to speak of his love for her, she discouraged him. But Pepe was very much persistent. So as the weeks went on, she changed her heart. And according to Rizal's historians, theirs was a very serious relationship. However, before he left from Biarritz, Rizal informed Nelly's father of his intentions of marrying him, of marrying her. However, Nelly is bent on marrying Rizal, provided that he embrace the Protestant faith. Okay, ito yung panahon na ang balita na sa Pilipinas ay nag-iba na ng relihiyon si Pepe dahil nga siya ay nakatira, uh, he's, he was being hosted by a, a Protestant and she's being romantically involved with a Protestant just the same. And so religion got in the way of their love for each other. The question here is should religion or should one's faith be an issue in getting married or should love transcend religion? Now, Rizal and Nelly didn't get married for the following reasons. Unang una, Rizal refused to be converted to the Protestant faith. And Nelly's mother didn't like Rizal because he wasn't earning big yet at that time. And so the two parted as good friends when Rizal left for Europe. And then we have Suzanne Jacoby. Ito naman ay nakafling lamang. Ni Pepe, ano ka ba naman? Pepe, bakit ka ganyan? In 1890, Rizal moved to Brussels, Belgium because of the high cost of living in Paris. In Brussels, he lived in the boarding house of the two Jacobi sisters. Suzanne cried when Rizal left Brussels and wrote him when he was in Madrid. Grabe naman ang karisma mo, Pepe. Ang dami mong pinapaiyak at pinapalungkot. When I saw Rizal left her place, her dream was to follow Pepe and to travel with a Filipino lover boy who was always in her thoughts. She kept writing love letters to Pepe, even with no response from the latter. And of course, the final uh, woman who was romantically involved with our national hero, the last love of Dr. Serizal, Josephine Bracken. Okay, now, Rizal was attracted to Josephine Bracken, definitely. And at this time, Leonor Rivera has died two years earlier already. At first, the Rizal sisters suspected Josephine as an agent or a spy of the friars, and they considered her as a threat to the security of Rizal. Josephine Bracken was an Irish Chinese with bold blue eyes, brown hair, and a happy disposition. She was an adopted daughter of George Toffer from Hong Kong, and Toffer came to the Pitan to seek Rizal for eye treatment because Rizal was already a famous ophthalmologist at that time. And so he was accompanied by Josephine when they went to the Pitan. However, Rizal's sister, Maria Rizal, thought that there was something so pretentious about Josephine. The fact that she arrived with Manuela Orlac in the Pitan, whose activities in Manila were well known, gave Maria the near certainty that Josephine was up to something. And so Rizal asked Josephine to marry him, but she was not ready yet to make decision dahil meron siyang responsibilidad sa kanyang bulag na ama-amahan. So Rizal failed to cure Topher's blindness so he left for Hong Kong and he was accompanied by Josephine. However, ano pong nangyari dito? Josephine returned to the Pitan because na in love kay Dr. Serizal. Ano ka ba naman talaga, Pepe? Upon her return to the Pitan, Rizal tried to arrange with Father Antonio Obak for their marriage. However, the priest wanted a retraction as a precondition before marrying her. Ano yung i-retract niya? Lahat ng kanyang mga sinulat. Papayagan na sila magpakasal, subalit i-retract niya at sasabihin niyang mali ang kanyang isinulat against the friars, against the Spanish regime here in the Philippines and abroad. But, 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 of course, Pepe would not retract. That's why Rizal and Bracken had a live-in relationship. 
Josephine later on gave birth prematurely to a stillborn baby boy na pinangalanan ni Pepe na Francisco okay, after his father. Now, because of an incident which might have shocked or frightened her, ito po yung naging cause ng premature birth ni Francisco. It was mentioned in um, Mi Ultimo Adios of Dr. Serizal. There, she, uh, he described... Uh, Josephine Bracken as his unhappy wife. At the second marriage of uh, Josephine Bracken, um, she got married to Vicente Abad. And it was said that Josephine was said to mo have moved on and consider her life with the Rizals a thing of the past. Not much has been known about her life while in Cebu, but it must have been a happy one, being almost anonymous. The Abads didn't stay long in Cebu and they later returned to Hong Kong where Josephine died poor and penniless on March 15, 1902. Ito po ang ating pag-aaral sa Rizal, The Lover.